So hello everyone, this is the Anders podcast. My latest guest is Vlad Hanesh, a very great comedian actor in Turku Mures. I hope you will enjoy our discussion. Stay tuned. So here he is. Welcome, Vlad. Hey, welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Uh, tell us a bit oh, about... Vlad, Vlad, Vlad. I love interviews. I mean, I mean, they're, they're, they're a good method for me for... To, to, to keep up with my with, with my program, speaking about myself, to let people know about what I do and what we do, me and my colleagues, but we'll talk about that later. First question. <laughs> awesome. Uh, tell us a bit about your background. Where did you grow up? So, uh, I, uh, I was born in Arad in 1997, in May. Uh, I was born in a very, 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 uh, uh, you know, mm, simple family in, in, in a matter. Like my, 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 my parents were very, very simple people, very simple workers. They didn't do a uh, university or didn't study anything like, like, uh, like medicine or something. No, they, they had many, many jobs to keep us in school. Me and my brother, I have a brother. They worked very hard to keep us in school and in university. Uh, my father is actually from, from the mountains, from Apusen here in Romania. And my name is Vlad Hanesh and he's from this small village of from the three houses that's called Hanesht. Oh. So yeah, I have a I have a small village after my name. So. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, yeah. in the house... Growing up in Arad, I stayed a lot with my grandmother because my parents were working, uh, with my aunts, with my cousins. Uh, we went uh, a lot in the countryside to my other grandparents. It was very nice and very, very, very fun childhood. Awesome. And uh, now are you living in Turgumuresh? How did you end up there and how do you yeah. like the city? Well, I, um, and from the fifth grade till the eighth grade, I went to Palato Copilor. That's, I don't know how to say that in English. Um, it's like an after school program to do other stuff like English or acting or karting or plane making or, uh, you know, arts and crafts. And I went to theater there and I loved it. And, uh, I felt like, like a fish in the water. And then in high school, I went to, uh, the high school for arts. The theater section, and then I start ask myself, where do I go to university? I'm going to acting, of course. That's what I want to do. And uh, all my friends were going to Cluj, and I said, okay, I'm going to go to Cluj. And I went uh, there at the University of Arts Theater to to take part at an acting class with the teachers that will take my generation uh, of acting. And I didn't like the teachers. And I said, well, I know somebody in Turgumiras that went to Turgumiras at the University of Arts. And I said, I'm going to call Alina and, uh, and George. And they told me that it's nice. I went there to see what, what it's about. Uh, I, I did some classes there and I uh, took the exam and I entered first of my class, <laughs> the best grade in 11 people. And I stayed in Turgumuresh. What do I think about the city? Um, I think Turgumuresh is a city of transition. I mean, a lot of people come here. A lot of people go. A lot come. The, the few people stay here, but a lot of people know things about Turgumuresh. I mean, it's a small city. Mm -hmm. You can't do anything there. It's very boring. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's because nobody stays, actually, and tries to do something. Every city has a, has a potential. I mean, Turgumuresh mm -hmm. being so, so eclectic in a matter of, of people, of ethnicities, of uh, ar architecture, of, of, of cultural cultural balance, it's a nice place. Develop some new things and actually know yourself. Because w if you go in a big city like Bucharest, uh, there's a lot of competition there. And in Turkey, you don't have actually a lot of competition, but you have some competition if you know how to grow yourself and how to how to challenge yourself and do new things. I think it's a fun city, although people think it's not. Because there are many, many activities you can do you can do in Turgumuresh. Since we started our private company, the 3G Hub, that's in the in the in the citadel of Turgumuresh. Since there's office club, there you have karaoke, pub quiz, a lot, a lot of uh, thematic parties, and so on and so on. At 3G Hub, we have stand up comedy, we have uh, improv shows, we have open mic from for amateurs. We do theater shows, classical theater, experimental theater, concerts, expositions, and all that. Mm -hmm. I see. So you're very involved in the acting uh, field. Uh, yeah. Comedy is a very uh, difficult field. Why did you choose comedy? 
Well, you know, in the, in every group of friends, I have a group of friends. We're we're six people. We're just like in in the in the sitcom comedy Friends. We mm -hmm. are three girls and three boys, and mm -hmm. always in this group, there's a guy that has or a girl that has funny stories to say. He can do impressions of people. He has always jokes to say. He likes the attention of being funny and making people feel good and making them laugh. I was that guy basically in my group of people. And uh, since uh, as a, as a young uh, as a young uh, child, I used to do impressions of people, remember lines from from cartoons, and say them to people, and making them making them laugh and have a good time. So I think that's where 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 the root of this is going, at making people feel good and and just receiving some kind of attention, but not not a quite uh, uh, egotistical attention. In a good way, because if I am a doctor or a singer or or a, or a lawyer, I know I'm good at this. You know, mm -hmm, yeah. I know my craft. I know what I do. I know my work. You have to appreciate that. I know I can do this good and work as has hell for it, and just do it. Yeah, I see. Um, what were your career highlights so far as a comedian actor? Well, career highlights. I've been doing this for two years now. <laughs> Uh, so not not that long enough to have like big peaks yeah. of moments, but some moments were like the first show that we did outside 3G Hub. That was at the Uzina the Uzina Photo the the photography um, Uzina. Oh my God, my English. <laughs> no the, 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 the old photograph factory that is in Turku Muresh, and uh, they asked us. You're a stand-up comedians, local. Let's do a show. We were like, sure, yeah. And we didn't expect so many people to come. The people that we did not know, because you know, you can call your friends, come, I have a show, and they'll come for you. But these people were actually curious about us, and we were like, wow, this is so amazing. And uh, I, I was the last one because we were three people that were doing. We're doing it a, a, a form of three people, and I was the last one. And people laughed like crazy, and they they said, "Wow, congratulations!" And I was like, "What? This is really happening?" Okay. Um, and another moment was uh, we do we go to open mics in Cluj Napoca. That's basically five minutes of testing material uh, with people that you don't know. And I went there, and I had five minutes. I was like the seventh guy. There are ten people uh, uh, trying out jokes, and I was the num number seven. And people laughed like crazy, and I did did some crowd work. Also, I felt so so good. And some people just told me, "Wow, we should come often to, to Cluj. We need your 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 humor." I was like, "Wow, really? Okay, thank you. I guess, <laughs> thank you." Awesome. So that was good. So even in these two years, you have some career highlights. So yeah, yeah, some some. Oh, and actually, there's another one. We went to we, we, we tried to go out of Turgomeres on our own, trying to schedule some shows in Timisoara. Sadly, we had like four people in the in the audience, but we did it anyway. We said we said you know screw it, we're gonna do it. We don't care. These people came for us. They're four. They paid a ticket. We're gonna do it. And then I, I felt so angry uh, at, at at the situation. You know, not on anybody, but the situation was very 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 disturbing. And we went to Arad. And I say, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I called all my friends. There was a wedding coming up the, that week, and I called all my friends. And 70 people from the wedding came up to us to see us. Oh. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so, so great. Especially that my my stand-up beats so far are about uh, some some things that I did with my friends when we went to Amsterdam, when we went to 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 uh, to a caban. I have to say, I don't know. Um, I have to say cabana. Uh, I mean, fun with friends on the weekend. You know, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. So that that was also that was also good. Yeah. Yeah, I see. And what do you love about the most in the acting as a comedian? Um. Um. Uh, there are some people that come to stand up comedy. Um. Uh, when you are a no name in this in this business, uh, people come up to your show knowing nothing about you. Because if I were like a big 
comedy star, people would come because I am that guy, yeah. not because they're curious, you know? Yeah. And when, when people come up to our shows and they laugh at what I, what I or we do, that, that is a great, great thing because you can see somebody that's very, very stiff at face and very, very angry at something. He had a bad day, maybe, you know, he had a fight, he had a job problem, so on and so on. And when you make him laugh and he feels very relaxed and uh, you talk with them afterward and he says, thank you, that was so great, I feel better. That is actually awesome and very, very great. Having fun uh, also is a good thing, um, what I love, because, you know, you, you can't put yourself high above the, the audience. You're with them, actually. And when they laugh, actually, I laugh inside of me as well. It, 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 it's, it's a good achievement, and, and I feel good about that because, because we, we did something together. Because I, I, I can't do acting or, or stand-up comedy alone. That would be mental. That would be crazy. I need people that 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 connect with me and uh, and taste my jokes and uh, go with me in this wonderful wonderful road trip comedy road trip <laughs> awesome so you need to have an audience to make it work yeah yeah of course uh, where can we see you next you're very active nowadays so what are your future plans now well so uh, 3G hub it's in Turgumuresh in the in the citadel and the uh, bastion of butchers that's right at, at the big entrance okay so what, yeah. are your, what are your future plans for this year let's say oh well we we started to go very full-on hard on the schedule like doing a stand-up comedy monthly doing open mics two times a week so stand-up comedy it's with a ticket it's like 35 lay 40 lay for three people you can see up on stage and an open mic. It's with a free entrance because it's about amateurs testing jokes. And me and my colleague, we do MCs at these just uh, open mics. And uh, so one time is me, one time is my colleague, one time me, one time my colleague. So people can come up and just see what's happening and drink some whatever and just look at people or or try some some jokes on stage. And nice. also we do improv shows. If people that are listening are familiar to improv shows. We have uh, 10, 10 rounds of games. Uh, we take uh, suggestions from the audience and we create scenes from nothing. Hopefully they're funny, but we try our best to keep, uh, to keep very sincere and not try to make you laugh like, like crazy. You know, we're not trying. We do our, our job and we, we're just funny by default. And uh, eventually you'll laugh because it's, 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 it's a great form of sport theater if you want. It's nothing psychology, psychological. It's it's very spontaneous. It's very it's very 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 creative, creative and very 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 funny. Yeah. And uh, theater shows. We have already two theater shows running. It's uh, one. It's called the Cyclops by Euripides, uh, and it's experimental and classical in the same way because we 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 took the play and we did it in our own way. But the story, it's there. It's perfectly there. We didn't change anything, but we did it in our, our own way. And there's another show. It's called In the Dream. In the Dream, because uh, six of us that worked with the director, we um, told stories of our dreams that we dream at night. And then the director chose dreams. And we did an hour show, one hour show, for only one, one spectator. One person can come inside and have the sensation of a dream, oh, a lucid yeah. dream. Yeah, and you you can find this at Three G Hub. Yeah, and we're 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 doing crazy stuff, but we are very optimistic that people want something else. You know. Yeah, I see. I'm very glad that you are very active, and we can't wait to see you on future plans. So uh, I'm very glad that you accepted my invitation, and I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very much. You can find me on Instagram, Vlad Hanish. <laughs> Thank you. Or Instagram, 3G Hub. That's where the schedule is. And we always post new things and keep you updated on the schedule. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. I hope you guys enjoyed my discussion with this upcoming comedian talent. See you guys next time. Have a lovely day. Bye, everyone.